Welcome back to FNA Van Life, everybody. My name is Alex, Frankie's behind the camera, and today we're gonna share with you another of our favorite van life recipes. Any size kitchen can handle this recipe. And Frankie's gonna come in with the side dish kicker. We are making a really easy lentil, kind of a soup, kind of a curry. It lives somewhere in between, but it's really delicious and perfect for any kind of like cool or cold day where you just wanna feel warm from the inside out. You can also eat it cold. It's really good cold too. <laughs> Let's go. If I could do it, you could do it. You're gonna need, ooh, pardon my elbow. <laughs> A can of coconut milk, a can of tomatoes that can be crushed or diced or whatever you have, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. I'm gonna use one whole real tomato because I have it, I've done it with or without, still turns out great. A clove or two or three of garlic. Some onion, I've already got some chopped red onion so I'm just gonna use that, you can use white as well. And of course the star of our show, the lentils. You can add in red pepper, you can add in mushroom, you can add in dried mushrooms. The options are kind of endless with this. This is like the base model. All right, because we're not in a real kitchen, we've got our camping stove. This is how I cook all of our meals in here. So pardon me if it's a little bit dirty. Make sure your space is properly vented. Exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> and we're good to go. Swizzle around some olive oil, maybe like a teaspoon, then add about a small onion. And then I'm gonna save the rest of this for salads. All right guys, light her up. Maybe to like a medium heat, we just wanna get these kind of like sizzling. You're gonna need a wood spoon, any kind of spoon really. Just a device to mix. A Little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So usually we're, whoa. I can make a band with this thing. I don't think you'll have many people come to your show. Usually we're filming these things out in the middle of nowhere in nature. Today we are outside of Frankie's sister's house because we've got some repairs that we need to do on the van. Typical van life problems. But we're still cooking outside because we have everything we need right here. I don't want to like mess up their kitchen. And this is my home and I love it. Next up we're going to add our coconut and our crushed tomatoes. Just throw them in. Mix up your coconut first just in case it's separated. This is the best can opener on the planet can't say enough good things about it. And no, they don't pay me to say that. I thought I was opening the tomatoes and then I was really surprised that it was white. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what happened here? Oopsie. Add your coconut milk, add your tomatoes. I always like to rinse my tomato cans out and then add the water liquid from that just because it's an easy way to clean it and then you're not wasting or putting it in your gray tank. Just kind of like a splash. Well, was maybe a little bit more than a splash. Did you guys just see that technique, how she turned that can to get all the water around and pick up everything on the way out? Woo, girl! I'm a professional. <laughs> Except I did forget to put the garlic in. You should have sauteed that with your onions. Okay, so let's pretend it with that we put the garlic in. You could add it now. I'm gonna put some garlic powder instead, maybe. I'm just trying to save time and not chop. We're gonna kind of dice chop this tomato. Ooh, Paco, you want the tomato? Oh, he would love that. That's why Paco likes me better. Because I'm always the one cooking and giving him treats. Yeah, I don't ever give him anything off my plate for the most part. And I think he despises me a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to bring this over to the stove so that I don't have a big old mess. Oh, I got a big old mess. Now we're gonna add one cup of dried lentils. Technically, you're supposed to rinse these and search through it for rocks. How sweet the sound. Any kind of lentil will do, we just happen to have red. Where'd my spoon go? Hiding. All right, let's consult our spice jar. We're gonna add a couple of different things. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. If you used regular garlic, like I probably should have, I'd probably still add it. Who knows? Like a heavy quarter teaspoon of parsley. We're gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. That'll help bring out the red color. And then like an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. 
mix it up. Okay, so right now it's got the color of kind of like a rosé or a vodka sauce. It's like a little bit pink and it needs to come to a boil. So once it comes up to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat to a simmer, cover it, and then cook it for about 20-25 minutes until those lentils have sucked up a lot of the juice and they're nice and plump. I forgot I should probably add a little bit more salt and pepper, so I'm going to do that. It seems like you always forget the salt and pepper. <laughs> you do. Alright, well that comes to a boil. Frankie is going to make our side dish. That's a la! Here I come! It's my first time ever doing this, so bear with me. For the side dish, we are going to be cooking up some rice. What we are going to be using is this wonderful rice cooker and the crazy thing about the rice cooker is you could use it in so many different ways especially in van life and it only zips on the power so it is a huge power saver as well so i definitely recommend the rice cooker when you said it was your first time what do you mean it's your fir your first time cooking rice or your first time cooking on camera my first time cooking rice really i think so have you I've ever cooked the rice before? I feel like I've Maybe I have once. Before. Maybe I have once, but it feels like my first time because I don't do it often enough, you know? <laughs> this is how easy it is, guys. It is one cup of rice and two cups of water. Let's get that cup of rice. That looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? Drop that bad boy in there. Drop it like it's hot. 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 Now we're going to get some water. Don't drop it. Don't drop it, Frank. Don't drop it, Frank. Don't drop it, Frank. Oh, that's one. This takes all the concentration that you could ever have. Oh, yeah. We're going to give it a quick swizzle of olive oil. And then we also got to throw in a little bit of salt. Oh, that would have been the big end. That would, just don't open up the big end. That could be a real problem. Where's the Paco. Paco. Yeah. Paco. Paco. What'd you, oh my god, of course you didn't. What was it, a mask? Look at you. That's not the kind of neighbor I need. What is it? <laughs> She's got like a Freddy Krueger mask. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know whose mask this was? Yeah, Dad's. Oh, really? That's yeah. funny. Oh, I wanted to scare you guys. <laughs> but I, I we have a good Paco. guard dog. <laughs> I scared Paco. Yeah, Paco. Paco was ready to eat you. So once you have that going, Pop your top on. Did you mix it? Oh, I did not mix it. Just use your finger. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. Throw your top on, and all you gotta do is push this little button down. And that's it, you wait for that, that little button to pop and you're good to go. If I could do it, you could do it. All right, now we just wait for everything to be done. So figure out what you could do in the meantime, maybe go for a walk around the neighborhood. We maybe, have 20 minutes. Maybe not, just do, 20 minutes, huh? Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, definitely not happening in this neighborhood. I only need about two of those minutes. Hey. Everything is done cooking. A tip for the rice cooker, as soon as it pops to warm, unplug it but leave the lid on and then let it sit for like 10 minutes because it'll help recirculate the moisture. Mm, nice, I didn't know that. Great tip. <laughs> Frank took a nap while we were waiting, so he's a little bit weird right now. Yeah, I was feeling a bit off, so I felt like I needed to close my eyes for a few. I don't know if it helped or not. Are you ready to taste test? Yeah. All right, the only problem with this lentil thing is that I've already eaten half of it and burnt my whole mouth doing that. I was gonna say, it's probably boiling lava hot. It is. Oh, great. So we're having this with rice today. You could definitely just have it by itself. You could dip it with some of our amazing bread. Mm, if you haven't seen that recipe yet, make sure to check back because we just recently made that video as well. That mm. bread is so delicious. So good. That would be so good to dip in this right now. Mm -hmm. Or if it's cold or hot, you could scoop it with tortilla chips. There's so many different ways to enjoy this lentil recipe. This is just the simplest. You can even take this lentil stuff and you can put it inside an open face pepper. Yeah. That's a great way to do it too. Look at him with the ideas. He's the ideas man now. I just need a little nap. <laughs> 
If you guys like this recipe, let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more of this kind of content, we definitely want to hear from you. Yeah, and even if you have some thoughts on recipes that maybe we can make, let us know as well. We'll yeah, what's your favorite thing to make in your RV kitchen? Mm -hmm. We've got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, so be sure to subscribe for all the fun. Peace out! That was weird. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>